Okay, in today's video, as you can see, I'm going to go over what is current. Now, I'm not going to go into it in great deal about how to calculate current, but I want to go over just in general what current is, the definition of current, some of the terms we use, the abbreviations, the units, and the such like that. Because when we deal with circuits, with resistors and capacitors, there are several different terms you need to be familiar with. One of those terms is obviously current, Another of them is voltage, and then resistance, capacitance, charge, and we want to be able to know in general, have a good uh, understanding about what these terms mean, especially when we're doing calculations with Ohm's law, V equals I times R, voltage equals the current times the resistance, and also what I like to call the capacitor equation, Q equals C times V, or charge equals capacitance times voltage. Because sometimes I see people doing these problems and working on these problems, they're getting the right answer, but I'm not really sure they understand what the answer means or really what current is or what voltage is. So I just want to give you a general background about what current is, and we're going to do that right now. Current. This is what current is. Now, the general definition that you often hear people give, especially maybe if you're in 7th, 8th, or ninth grade, is the flow of electrons. Yes, it is the electrons that are flowing, and people often say electricity is the flow of electrons or current is the flow of electrons, but I like to use a little more specific definition so that we can do some calculations with current. And so we like to say that current is the rate of flow of charge past a given point in an electric circuit. So it's the rate of flow. A rate implies we're talking about time, and it's the flow of charge. The unit for the charge is the coulomb. So it's the number of coulombs that pass a given point in the circuit uh, every second, okay? It's not how fast the current is going. It's not the speed of the current. It's the number of electrons, really. If you want to think about it, uh, in a more general sense, you need to think about it as the number of electrons. That's what the charge is, the number of electrons that are flowing past a point uh, every second. Okay. Now, when we talk about current, we use the symbol I, as in V equals I times R. I is current. You remember voltage, is, the symbol is a V. It's a little bit more straightforward, but the symbol for current is I. All right? Then the metric unit for current is the ampere, which we often abbreviate when we say it as the amp. You'll hear people say, oh, the current is two amps or half an amp or something like that. So usually people just say amps, but it's really ampere. And then the abbreviation for the ampere is an A. So we have the current symbol I, the unit, the ampere, and the abbreviation for the unit is A. Okay, now what is one ampere? Okay, one ampere is equal to one coulomb of charge flowing past a point every second. So really one ampere or one amp is really an abbreviation in itself for coulombs per second. It's the number of charges. A coulomb is a certain number of charges, but that's kind of the basic unit that we use. A coulomb of charge passing a point every second. All right? So, and this is how we often write that or say that. We say the current is equal to 1.75 amps, for example. Or really, we often even abbreviate that down to I equals 1.75A. We don't say I 1.75A. We say the current is equal to 1.75 amps. All right? So that's just a general conceptual uh, review of what current is. It's the rate of flow of charge past a given point. If you could kind of open the circuit and see the electrons and count the number of electrons going by every second, that would be the current. It's not the speed, it's the number of electrons. And one amp is a coulomb per second. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a nice comment in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you.